In celebration of June being National Dairy Month, we can't allow milk to slip by us. That's right, Brittany, because it's such a wholesome product that we definitely need nutritionally. And since we're right here on a dairy farm, you know, Jersey milk's a little bit different. It's a little richer. It, Jerseys are known for their high butter fat. And the, the Jersey milk with Carl Chinese milk here, Chinese Dairy Barn's milk has a little bit more protein, about 15%, um, and also more calcium. And I know that's very important nutritionally for us to get. It is. Calcium is super important. We, we hear growing up, we need it for our bones, but we also need it for our teeth and for our nervous system. Our nervous system, in order for us to be able to keep uh, our temperature elevated and all of those things, we have to make sure that we replenish our calcium every single day. And you know, school children get milk because it's in their cafeterias, but a right. lot of times adults, we don't get enough milk. Right. We forget about it and we overlook it and we go on without our day and we realize, I don't know about you, but sometimes I realize that the entire day has gone by and I haven't consumed any calcium. And milk is the number one source for to, to make sure that we get our calcium. Yes, calcium, vitamin D, a lot of protein richness That's in right. just one cup of milk. Now, Brittany, is this the correct serving size? This is the correct serving size. Eight ounces or one cup is considered to be one serving. And most adults need about three servings a day. And so we would need to consume, I mean, of course, we're going to have cheese, we're going to have yogurt, we're going to eat different things throughout the day. But this is what one serving of milk looks like. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, I just don't want that extra fat. So mm -hmm. I don't want to drink milk, you know, and if I drink skim milk, I'm not getting the nutritional quality. But that's not true, right? That's not true at all. Definitely Definitely, when you go to the grocery store, the milk case is growing, and it's kind of hard to define what uh, what the difference is between all the different color tops. All milk has the same amount of calcium. The only thing that's different is the calories because of the fat that's added into the milk to make it more creamier. So um, definitely, you can you can choose a high calorie um, option with a whole milk, and some people like whole milk, and that's kind of what they're stuck on. And that's 150 calories for one serving. Okay. And skim milk is 80, so that's kind of from one spectrum to the other. It's quite a bit of difference between right. calories. And you said 150 in whole milk, which is not as bad as a soda. No. And so, you know, but it is, you will get less calories if you go with a skim or a 2%, mm -hmm. but you still get the same amount of calcium, right? Same amount of calcium, same amount of nutrients and vitamins. Um, it's a great source of protein, so it's definitely, you're, you're still getting all of the health benefits no matter what milk you choose. Okay. It's just the fat added that year. And then if chocolate, we probably have a few more calories right. added to it, but you pick your favorite milk and make sure that you're consuming enough milk for our bones and teeth. You know, the old adage, milk does a body good, it certainly does. Yes. So pick your favorite milk and come and buy some right here at Chinese Dairy Barn. Celebrating June is Dairy Month, one of the great things is having healthy, nutritious snacks that go right along with June is Dairy Month, and I know that you have some snacks to share with us. We do. Super easy and tasty and definitely going to be a family favorite. We're starting off with mozzarella sticks, okay. and that is something that we typically order as an appetizer at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good one and a great way to get in uh, some calcium using just a basic mozzarella stick. So, Joanne, if you'll go ahead and get started, you have panko breadcrumbs. Okay, which this is a little different, right, Brittany? It is. It is. It's in the breadcrumb section at the grocery store. They are a little more crunchy. Um, add a little bit of Italian seasoning to those. Okay, and these these breadcrumbs are Japanese breadcrumbs, but I think this is going to actually, we're going to bake these, right? So yes. it's a lighter version of our favorite appetizer. That's right. Yeah. So if you'll just give those a good toast okay. and bring out and it'll kind of give it that look because this is really light, so we're going to toast them. And plus to bring out some of the flavor. Yes. I'm already starting to smell some of the Italian seasoning right now. That's right. And so, Brittany, I'm going to give you your egg here. I have one egg that I've just whisked. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mozzarella stick and we're going to dip it into our egg. Mm -hmm. Give it a little coat here. Mm -hmm. Feel it I'm getting away from me. And once you've got yours done, Joanna, we're then going to take our mozzarella stick and dip it into our breadcrumbs. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in. And then, Brittany, how long do we cook these? These are going to bake at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. And I know that when you go, like, out to eat and you buy mozzarella sticks, they're over 400 calories a serving. But yes. these actually cut the calorie count in half. That's right. 
And so you can get that, and you know, this is easy enough besides the toasting of the breadcrumbs that your kids can help you make, you know, and so that they might be more bought into eating those. And it's starting to turn brown for me here, Brittany. It looks and smells amazing. It does, That the Italian seasoning actually brings out, and it was a teaspoon of that, right? Yes, it was. So we've, di we've dipped them in the egg. We're gonna dip them in the panko breadcrumbs. If you want to, you can dip them back in the egg and back in the breadcrumbs again and kind of give them a double, double crunchy uh, flavor if you'd like to. Okay. I think those are nice and brown. It kind of yeah. gives you some of that color. Looks delicious. Okay. I'm gonna scoop them in here. And let you kind of toast them. Might be better if I just give them just a quick turn. And then we just put that on our baking sheet? Yeah. It's as simple as that. 10 or 12 minutes later, you've got a delicious calcium rich snack. And I see that you have marinara sauce out there. So that's a nice vegetable base that could add a little mm -hmm. bit of flavor mm -hmm. to that as well. But you won't have to miss out on almost being just like. That's exactly right. Your favorite snack. And one more. Okay, and you can do as many of these at a time. I think this actually calls for like 12 at once. We're just gonna do four today. Looks good. Looks amazing. Again, 350 degrees and we're gonna bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes and that's it. All right, now, so. now breakfast is always one of those meals that kind of escapes me. It seems like I never have time for a nice healthy breakfast. Yes, it's difficult when we're rushed in the morning. I'm gonna show you a recipe, Joanna, that I think you might be able to sneak in or make ahead of time. Okay. This is a smoothie recipe. And what I've done is I've taken one banana and I've just sliced those and froze them. Mm -hmm. I froze them just probably for about an hour is all you need to do. Of course, if you want to, you could go ahead and you could do it overnight or once a week if you'd like to. But the frozen banana is gonna give you a great texture. Okay, now you, you laid these out in a flat layer. Is that important to do or it can is. I just stick my banana in there hole? It's important to do just because it will, if you don't, you're gonna get clumps and it's gonna be harder for everything to mix up if you okay. don't. So go ahead and freeze them in a single layer. You know, and if you have that banana that's about to go bad, and you don't want to eat it, this would be a great way to save some money and yeah. use that banana. That's exactly right. This is a good recipe to use an, a banana that may be about to go bad. Okay, okay a, a, an ingredient that we're going to add, and it's a little different for a smoothie, we're going to add one cup of a wheat cereal. Mm -hmm. You could use a puffed, you know, like the puffed cereal. You could use any type of a whole grain cereal that would be, a, a, you know, a really great choice. So is this gonna add nutrition to our smoothie as well? It's gonna add nutrition because it's a whole grain. Mm -hmm. It's gonna add some crunch and it's gonna kind of thicken it up a little bit and give you a little bit more than just a regular, you know, smoothie. smoothie. Okay. That's right. A half a cup of yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yogurt, good dairy product. That's what was, this is one ingredient where our dairy and our calcium calcium rich snack is gonna come in. Okay, and that's just plain yogurt or plain. vanilla yogurt? Mm -hmm. Okay non-fat yogurt, and three-fourths cup of skim milk. Again, another... Mm -hmm. Some calorie there. savings there with skim milk. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Well, that's not that many ingredients. No. And several of these you probably already have at home. Okay, so we're gonna put our top on and we're gonna give it a quick now, Brittany, you Blend. mentioned that we can make this ahead of time. Could we make it ahead of time and then maybe stick it in the freezer? Make it ahead of time and put it in a freezer. Or you could also put it in like, um, 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 like a popsicle mold and have like a popsicle out of it. I was unsure about how the cereal would be in there, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Smells great. And that's it, Joanna. That's all we have to do and then just pour those in a cup and you have your fiber, your dairy, all ready to go. It's kind of like a cereal in a cup, you know, you, all your cereal products, your milk, put that and you can drink that going to work. So easy. All right, well, Brittany, thanks for sharing these delicious dairy ideas for us. I think they're easy. Anybody can try these at home and then they also get the good nutrition of dairy, but they also get a lot of other nutrition packed into That's a small right. package. Thanks for your help, Joanna. No problem. It's been a beautiful day today, and I really enjoyed celebrating National Dairy Month today. 
It has been. And you know, what a great way. We challenge you to have a dairy challenge in June. Take your family out to a farm, visit a dairy, and make sure that you get those three servings. That's right. Each and every day of milk. If you need recipes, more information, anything about dairy, contact your local Extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.